Got your L1 petition approved? The visa interview is the next crucial step that you need to clear to finally reach the US. And in this video, I'm going to be explaining all about L1 visa interviews. So keep on watching. Hi guys, my name is Shachi and I'm a travel and visa coach. On this channel, you will find lots of useful content on the US visa process. And this is a new series for the L1 visas. So make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell icon. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about L1 visas. And this is going to include both L1A, that is meant for managers, and L1B, meant for employees with technical skills. Now this video is not going to go into what an L1 visa is, what's the validity of it, how to get one, but I'm going to focus completely on the visa interview part. So once you have an L1 petition, you need to schedule an interview with any of the consulates in India and go give this interview with the visa officer and clear it. So this video is going to focus on the interview preparation and I'm going to go deep dive into all the areas that you need to have it covered. Also, part of this video, there is a free PDF. This PDF is basically the question bank for L1 visa interviews. And this has been specifically prepared, keeping in mind the L1 interviews that have happened in the last couple of months. So you can just check the link in the description box below and download your free PDF. All right, so with this, let's jump right into the interview prep. Now to make this prep more structured and easy for you, I have divided the L1 visa interview questions into three different categories. And we will go into each of these categories, understand what are the questions that can be asked. And at the end of each category, I have a pro tip for you. So make sure that you watch till the end. So the first category of questions are the introduction questions. And this is how L1 interviews can typically begin. So the interview can begin with the VO asking you certain basic questions about your background and your profile. These questions could be, where do you work? How many years have you worked in the company? Which location do you work? They could also ask some questions about the company. What does the company do? How many employees are there? Then he can move on to ask specific questions about your work, your work history, your area of expertise, or your specialization. In L1 interviews, it's really important to have a short, crisp introduction ready, which essentially highlights the number of years that you have worked, uh, the number of years that you have worked in the current role, and also, what is your main domain of expertise or your core area? I cannot stress enough how important it is to have a very clear explanation of what exactly is your specialization. And this is something which is asked in almost all L1 interviews. So, a pro tip here. When you fill the DS-160 form, in the DS-160 form, you also need to update the work history. So you need to write about your current role and responsibilities and also about your previous roles and responsibilities. And here there's a box which says briefly describe your duties. Now this box is actually quite important and VOs tend to read what is written in the box to understand about you and your work history. So make sure that you fill this correctly and the way you are preparing your introduction, your main areas of responsibilities, your main specialization, the same thing should also be reflected in the DS-164. Now moving on to the second category of questions, and this is the most important one. This is your role in the US, and you can expect the bulk of the interview to be focused on these questions. So the questions here that could be asked are, what do you plan to do in the US office? What are your roles and responsibilities? Why you? Why not somebody who's already there in the US office? And what would happen if you don't go on this visa? When you prepare the answers for these questions, do keep in mind that you need to repeatedly highlight the value add, the key skill, or the differentiating factor that you possess. And it's really important to not sound generic, but to prepare specific answers, which shows a direct connect or a direct fit between the requirement in the US office and everything that you have achieved in your career, which essentially shows that it makes sense for the company to do this transition. Coming to the pro tip here, many of you might have worked for about eight to 10 years, meaning that you would have handled different roles, different responsibilities, maybe worked in different teams. So in such cases, it becomes really confusing to understand what exactly should I be highlighting. For this, refer to your L1 petition, refer to the role that you have in the US office, and you can pick those parts of your career or those parts of your work experience, which are a direct fit for the role in the US. 
The third category of questions are the future plan questions. And this is something which the interview can end with or typically these are the last few questions which can be asked in the L1 interview. So the questions here could be, how long do you plan to stay in the US? What do you plan to do once this visa tenure is over? Or what are your future plans? Now, when you prepare answers for these questions, remember that you are going on L1 visa, which is a non-immigrant visa, which has been given to you for a specific period of time. So you need to demonstrate clearly to the VO that once the tenure of this visa is over, you plan to come back and then highlight the reasons for coming back, which need to be focused more on the professional side. So you need to highlight the specific professional opportunities or the specific work responsibilities that you have waiting in India, which would require you to come back. So essentially in a nutshell, it is important to demonstrate or to highlight that the work or the project that you're going for has a specific end date. And post this, you do plan to come back to your home country. Coming to the pro tip, now if you have dependents, it is very likely that questions are also asked about the dependents and their future plans, even if they're not applying with you at this moment. So make sure that you have their future plan and their path also charted. So if you have a spouse, you could be asked, does your spouse plan to work? What is her plan in the US? Similarly, if you have children, you could be asked about their age. What do they do? What do they plan to do in the US? So charting out their stay in the US and their future plan and linking it, of course, to yours and showing that as a family, as a whole, you intend to come back is going to be important. So this is everything that you need to be prepared for for an L1 visa interview. And to make this preparation easy and more structured for you, there is a PDF which lists all these questions. So the link for the PDF is in the description box below. You can download that and prepare. For a more in-depth prep, you can book a one-to-one -one session with me. You can also take a mock interview. Mock interviews for L1 visas are a game changer. Tons of people have taken this. And this is something which is going to get you absolutely ready for that really crucial last step. So I'll do the mock first. Okay. Okay. Hi, Shinwaz. Good evening. Tell me about yourself. What do you do? What do you say is your core domain specialization? How many years have you worked for this company? How many years of total experience do you have? What's your current annual income? So details of how to book a one-to-one -one session with me or take a mock interview is also listed in the description box below. So do take a look. I have more videos coming up in L1 Visa series. In fact, next up in this series are real interview experiences. I have people who worked with me and who have gone to US on L1 visas sharing their experience and also their preparation strategy. So do stay tuned for this. Make sure that you um, click the subscribe button, hit the bell icon, and please do give a like to the video because this is something that really helps. If you have more questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. You could also DM me on Instagram. My Instagram handle is at shachi.mal. And thank you so much for watching. I really hope that this has helped you. And see you in the next one. Signing off for now. Bye.